of the law rather than the letter. Seniors are role models for juniors and have a big responsibility to lead by example. The chance to speak and be heard is what mentoring is about. Pastoral care is much more than just implementation of rules. It is about regulating with meaning and justice, where trust is not merely an idea, but practiced in action. The key to settling in is probably in learning from seniors, because they have been through it all before and are always willing to help, especially if you are embarrassed and do not want to go to the house masters. I always tell my juniors, it's unrealistic actually if you don't feel a little homesick. For the little ones who are coming to this huge campus for the first time, it can be daunting. However, they acclimatize very quickly. They throw themselves with energy into so many games and activities AVS offers. There's no time to miss home. Anytime you're ill or you just don't feel that great, someone's always around. It's really a home away from home. Some of us sometimes find discipline and rules difficult, but we do get to sit down and talk about it with our mentor. To actually have a fair but a single set of rules for us kids who come from such different backgrounds is something that is quite a big job that the school has for itself. But I have to say that the school has accomplished it pretty well. We know our teachers want what is best for us. Sometimes we feel the adults find it difficult to see things our way. However, I've learned it's about trust and even if it hurts sometimes, we know our mentors look for the best possible solution. Also one of the biggest grosses we have is that the girls are more regulated than the boys. The teachers are more stricter towards us than the boys. The lights out only happens in the girls' department and not in the boys' department. And if we have seen too often with a boy, we get the scoldings and the boys don't. Though spending unregulated time with the opposite gender is not entirely encouraged, but adults trust us and they give us the liberty to develop friendship within school traditions. Really appreciate the kind of counselling that we receive and the free spirit in which our growing up pains and problems are resolved. Being in a co-ed is more natural. Teachers need to respect women not be socially awkward around them and prepares you for the real world. It is like something that you are never heard to go exceptional people out here, people who are smart and who are going to do amazing things and you learn from them. The school has a pretty good careers department and we get consultants from outside very often. Our placements are really good. And over the years, we had the AVS people going into the best colleges in the country and even abroad. What I've learned at AVS is learning how to learn. I think I could go into any field and be able to tackle it and do well in it. I want to do something that has an impact on the world and AVS has definitely taught me how to do that. You can't keep feeling bad all the time you have. So what if spring's gone? Yeah, autumn's here today. It's time to lose autumn days gay. I think the best thing about AVS is that it makes you comfortable about who you are and at the same time it does not let you become complacent. Every day is a saga of struggles against prejudices and mindsets, against diversities and location. But AVS teaches us to respect one another despite the differences or maybe even because of them. AVS helps us to change with the times but at the same time it tells us that there are basic values like honesty, hard work and truth which never change. 
And in a world where value systems deconstruct themselves all the time, a part of the struggle at AVS is that it makes the effort to turn out fine human beings into the world. Shake that. Shuffling.